got uh, some unboxing to do today, boys. Oh boy, oh boy. Uh, to much disappointment, I pre-ordered the collector's edition to Fallout 76 because I'm a huge Fallout fan. Unfortunately, this game seems to be an utter disaster. But hey, the collector's edition came with a really cool helmet, so I'm all right with that. And then I also actually got a few things, uh, some t-shirts here. And then I also actually ordered a newer Pit Boy. Apparently, they came out with a Pit Boy that cost me $150. When Fallout 4 was announced, they actually had the collector's edition come with a Fallout 4 Pit Boy that I was really interested in at the time, but they sold out so quick, I never actually got to get my hands on one. And so I actually ordered one of their newer Pit Boys. This is the Fallout 76 Pit Boy edition. And so I'm excited to open this thing up as well. And since I don't do unboxings that often, I figured I'd just smash all this into one video. But yeah, we are gonna lower the desk down so I don't look as short as I really am. And we are going to get into this unboxing. Throw my mic off to the side a little bit. I wanted to be close enough to where the audio is all right, but I don't want you to pick up so much of me unboxing this thing to the point where it's just ASMR. All right, what should we open first? The collector's edition or the Pip-Boy? The Pip-Boy's on top and I don't feel like moving the giant box around at the moment. So we'll just go with the Pip-Boy first, the smaller box. Or why don't we open the t-shirts first? That's a better idea. Oh yeah, you like that? Here's some nice ASMR for you. All right, so if I remember correctly, I ordered two different t-shirts, both with the horrid Fallout 76 logo on them. One of them's black for diversity. There's the Fallout 76 t-shirt right there. Just a standard nice logo and everything. Really nice print on it too. I've always liked uh, Bethesda's apparel just because it's like really well-made stuff. Unlike my old Spreadshirt apparel where the design fell off like a fucking sticker. And then here's the second logo with uh, 76 on the back. I actually didn't know that was on there. That's pretty cool. So you can cosplay Soldier 76 from Overwatch and then you got the little Fallout 76 logo on the front. So pretty nice shirts. I'm gonna toss these back here. And now we'll open the actual Pip Boy, which I'm pretty excited to open up because I'm a fucking nerd. All right, that, that's actually a pretty cool design. They actually have like the old kind of like 50s themed design on there, which is pretty cool. Give you a nice little uh, zoom in on that sucker. So you can see it's like sort of an old 50s sort of nuclear family kind of design on there, which is cool. There's probably a specific name for that kind of design, but I'm an uneducated educated monkey. All right, let's pull this sucker out. All right, quick turnaround, just the Fallout 76 logo right there. Nothing too special, vault Tech logo. And now opening her up, and it actually comes in a case, which is pretty cool, like an actual like briefcase. Huh, look at that. It's got a handle and everything. That's actually pretty cool. So you can see it says uh, Pip Boy on it. Pip Boy model 2000 Mark VI, manufactured by Robco Industries for distribution by vault Tech Corp. Here's your uh, logo right there. And I'll lower the camera so you guys can check this out. And now opening this on up. Oh baby, wow. That's actually really sick. So it's a uh, it's a build your own pit boy, which I remember when I ordered, but I just forgot until now. This thing actually doesn't come together like the Fallout 4 pit boy did. This thing you can actually fully build and customize like an old child's toy. Fucking Christ, I am a child. They got your little uh, construction manual there and then actually inside, this is what it looks like. Give you guys a uh, nice little close up there. Yeah, really cool. All right, now we're gonna take the plastic off. Should we build this thing now? I kind of want to. It seems like this whole thing sort of comes out. Damn, this is gonna take me a while to fucking build. <laughs> Holy fuck, man. I'm actually gonna have to like sit down and make this. This is a full on like Ikea set, dude, Jesus. <laughs> And it is done. That only took five fucking hours to make. Not even joking either. <laughs> that was an insane amount of work, but it was pretty fun to be honest. It was kind of cool putting everything together. It's a really detailed one too. I really like it. Um, It's not electronic or anything like that. I know that the Fallout 4 Pip-Boy, you could put like your phone in and everything. And then they made an even more advanced version of the Fallout 4 one that actually just had like a USB screen on it too, that you could customize and use Bluetooth to connect to your game and everything. But this one is 
purely just for prop slash cosplay purposes. So it's just really detailed and everything, but it's not functional in any way. It's cool because like I, you, when you're putting this thing together, you're actually putting like the knobs and the springs, the wires and everything. Like you're actually putting all that in there. So you kind of get the feel of how everything works. Like the Geiger counter needle and then the radio needle for the station or whatever. Both of those needles actually move when you're moving the knobs or whatever. And so getting to put it all together and then seeing all that in the final product is pretty cool. Um, also something that this one has that I don't think the Fallout 4 Collector's Edition had is it actually has a little hollow tape pod, which is pretty cool. It opens up and then there's a kind of stuck, but there's a hollow tape in there, which is pretty cool. You can take that out. That'll focus. Comes with a hollow tape and you can put that in there. Like I said, it's probably really cool for just cosplays overall, to be honest. This doesn't turn on and there's no electrical purpose to it whatsoever, but it's going to be really cool just to have on my shelf. Probably not worth the $150, but wouldn't be the first time I've spent an insane amount of money on something stupid. All right, but I'm going to clean everything up put this sucker in the background and then we'll open the actual big box the actual collector's edition of fallout 76 all right now that that is finally done my hair is a fucking mess i apologize look like a fucking jonas brother now it's time to open the big box the big boy the big bertha the actual collector's edition which is exactly why most of you probably clicked on this video i should have done this first i don't know why i don't know why i opened the pit boy first when i knew i was gonna have to make it i just didn't think it was gonna be that complex like i honestly I knew it was a build your own pit boy, but I didn't think it was actually like all the nuts and bolts and screws and everything. I thought it was like put the screen on and like move some stuff around. I didn't think it was going to be the whole damn thing. Anyways, let's cut right into this guy. Sorry for keeping you all waiting. And all right, let's get into this. Oh, 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 I already like the. I love how they have, I gotta say, Bethesda's boxes are really cool. They try to make them look like as realistic as possible, really, but you can see already, you got the T-51 logo right there for the power armor. But yeah, we'll do a quick turnaround of the box there. There's the front of it, really cool. God, I love their boxes. I know all of you are like, Max, it's fucking cardboard, dumbass. But that's just a really cool design. I love the design of that. Looks like it's a sleeve, just like the uh, Resident Evil 7 Collector's Edition that I got. And the back has a bunch of stuff on it, everything that it comes with, really. Bethesda Game Studios, the award-winning creators of Skyrim and Fallout 4, welcome you to Fallout 76, the online prequel where every surviving human is a real person, which is why everyone fucking hates it. Nice job, Bethesda. All right, box sleeve. Off. All right, and then the actual box itself without the sleeve. So here's the front of it. Kind of just the same logo, similar logo. And then the back of it's a little different. It says power armor helmet meets all military requirements and specifications. Just some cringy nerd shit. All right, let's open this bad boy up. It's actually, the box is actually surprisingly not as heavy. It's a bit, it weighs about as much as the pit boy did, honestly. All right. So we're gonna open this sucker up, and first thing we see is the steel book. So we do get a steel book. Kind of cool. So this is the tri tricentennial, tri tri millennial, the collector's edition steel book right here. Give you guys a nice view of that sucker right there. Um, instructions on how to use the uh, helmet, like batteries and LED and everything like that. And then the uh, little collector's guys. Okay, these are actually pretty cool. I thought they were gonna be like really shitty quality, but they're actually all right. I mean, they're not I mean, they're not amazing quality, but they're definitely a little better quality than the toy soldiers I was talking about. But yeah, there's those guys. You can see there's a, right there on the top though, there's like a Scorch Beast, there's Super Mutants, guys in power armor, some of the enemies you find throughout the game, stuff like that. We're gonna toss these to the side. And it looks like there's the poster in the middle too. So right in the middle on there, this is the glow-in-the-dark poster they were talking about. Styrofoam now. Oh, baby, and there it is. Oh, hold up, before I get into that, if I open up the game, is there the code inside? Please don't tell me this is an actual C. I'm gonna open up the steel book real quick and see if there's a code inside or if it's a disc, because if it's a disc, I'm gonna be very angry. Okay, thank God, it's a, <laughs> it's a card, it's a cardboard disc, completely cardboard, this isn't, uh, not a real disc. And they had that where you would put the disc and it's got a code on the back of it. So that's really nice. Thank God, I was actually really worried. All right, but now for the helmet, oh boy. Look at that, they even gave us batteries. Wow, this is huge. All right, <laughs> look at that. That is huge, that is a big ass helmet. That is like a life-size power armor helmet. The detail on it too is amazing. All right, and then it looks like the duffel bag was stuffed inside of the helmet. West Tech Warfare fully powered. Oh boy. I just want to try this guy on already. Okay, there's where the batteries go. All right, how do I turn it on? 
All right, there's the LED on, off, on, off, on, off. How bright is it? All right, that thing is not bright at all, which is kind of disappointing, but whatever. I mean, you can definitely tell it's on, but it's not bright at all. <laughs> okay, so I guess this is the VAT sound effect they were talking about. All right, but now we're gonna try out the voice changer and everything. Let me put this sucker on. Hello, Kappa Kappa, one, two, three. Country road! Yeah, that's definitely like a life-size fucking power armor. It's fucking sick though. I'd say this was definitely worth the collector's edition. Like the Pip-Boy, I don't really know about the Pip-Boy. The Pip-Boy is like all right, but unless you're a really big fan of Fallout and you're planning on doing like a cosplay or something like that, I don't see the Pip-Boy being worth it, but the helmet is like so fucking cool and detailed. This would be like a must for any Fallout fan to just have like sitting on their desk. It's really cool. This was definitely worth the collector's edition. But yeah, guys, that is gonna have to do it for the video, I guess. Feels weird saying that. I feel like there should be more to this video, but yeah, that's it. I was just gonna open up these boxes, show you guys what I got. The making that Pip-Boy took up literally four hours of my time today, which I did not think that was gonna happen. So obviously a majority of that will be cut out of the video. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this uh, collector's edition unboxing. Whenever I get a collector's edition for a game, it's a game that I'm very passionate about, you know, Resident Evil 7, Fallout. There's a few other games that I've I've gotten collector's editions of, but I think that the Resident Evil 7 one was the only other one I've ever done an unboxing of. And so it's always fun to do an unboxing video on this channel because it's always something that I'm very passionate about. And so I appreciate you guys taking the time to watch the video. But yeah, thank you guys all so much for watching the video. If you did enjoy it, please make sure to leave a big fat thumbs up on it for me because I would really appreciate it and it really helps me out a lot. But I will see you all in the next video. But until then, this has been Max. Peace.